one topic that my research group has been very interested in over the past five years has been the behavioral aspects of a number of biomedical solutions to common health problems in Sub-Saharan Africa, including HIV AIDS. So HIV is a very interesting example because in the last 10 years, we've had a number of extremely exciting studies that have shown biomedical solutions to both preventing and treating HIV. And that has actually prompted UNAIDS and a number of country governments to sign on to what's known as the UNAIDS 90-90-90 targets. One of the barriers to achieving these 90-90-90 targets has to do with behavioral factors. So people have to come and voluntarily seek HIV testing services, or people have to enroll in HIV care programs and take medications regularly. And it's precisely these behavioral factors that we're trying to address in a number of studies in Eastern and Southern Africa. So we've completed a randomized trial that for the first time compared a standard financial incentive strategy for promoting HIV testing to a lottery-based reward incentive that encouraged people to come for HIV testing. And finally, um, an intervention that, to our knowledge, is one of the first interventions that applied principles of loss aversion in a practical, scalable way in a rural East African setting. That has led us to become interested in the question of whether financial incentives provided to individuals for a relatively short period of time can help them form better habits and ultimately result in sustained behavior change even after the financial incentives are removed.